Hi boys and girls. I'm gonna read you this book called Spring and it's by Ron Hershey and it's got real photographs that were taken by Thomas Mangelson. Okay, all right, so I will begin. Spring. Spring hides beneath the winter snow. Spring waits. Then one day, lilies, daisies, and shooting star flowers pop up. Waking like Mother Bear and her cub from a long winter nap. The wildflowers march up the mountainside. That's a pretty picture of the wildflowers. It really is. As the snow melts away, weasels change from winter white to golden brown. Now swans search for a safe place to build a nest, while coyotes and mountain sheep shed their thick winter coats. And remember, if you don't know what shed means, it means that their hair comes, their fur comes off because they don't need all that fur for the summer and springtime. Spring is time for baby owls to grow bigger each day. They wait for Mother Owl to return with a fat mouse. Mm -mm. <laughs> she, meaning the owl, hunts where cottontails hide and where goldfinches dot the field like flowers in the sun. <laughs> Spring is a robin's morning song that seems to last all day long. It is time for marmots to scurry from their burrows. Check out this next page. There he is right there. Look at that mountainside with the snow. It's all coming back to life. Amber, what burrows? They sit in the first warm spring sun while woodpeckers and wrens choose snug nesting holes. Ptarmigan, and the ptarmigan is this bird right here. It's got feathers on its feet. Ptarmigan search for just the right place to raise a family too. High in the hills where baby elk are born. See? Baby elk. Where the blue bird sings its mountain song. Spring is time for antlers to grow. Hummingbirds to suddenly appear. And baby geese to pop into their new world. Spring is time for young and old to begin a new year. And we've got a moose and her calf and a bison with her calf. Summer will soon be here. And at the end, it kind of summarizes the story. It goes over it, talks about everything that happened in here. And there's one that says, now is a great time for you to help too. A properly placed birdhouse will give you a chance to watch a family of swallows, wrens, or bluebirds make a new spring beginning. Their songs will last all summer long. So I thought maybe we could um, do, a little project. Yeah, do a little project if you've got maybe some bird seed or some sunflower seeds at home. Um, this is a toilet paper roll, a spoon, peanut butter, a pencil, and some yarn or some string. You can make your own little bird feeder. So what you do first is you wanna poke a hole on one side and poke a hole on the other side so you can put the string through. Can you open up the peanut butter? Yeah. You might want to have an adult help you with this part. It's a little bit tricky. Or you'll poke yourself. Yeah, you don't want to get poked. Ooh. It went straight out of your hand. It did. <laughs> so then I'm going to take the string and I'm going to put it through hole number one. Hole number two. And hole number two. And if you need a little help getting the string through, take your pencil 
and just kind of help push it through. Maybe. You really could get through. There we go. <laughs> and then you just give it a little tie so that you can hang it on a bush or a tree limb. If you don't have a tree. Or a fence, maybe. If you don't have a tree, you can hang it on your fence or yeah. whatever thing you can hang it on. All right, so we have a spoon. And I'm gonna have her get it on the back of the spoon. Okay. And then just kind of spread it like icing on a cake. Icing on a cake? Yeah. Let me do it kind of quick, okay. Like this? You see we're outside today. Yeah, it's a nice day out. I hope you guys are outside too. Spray on cake. You might get a little bit messy. Yeah, and that's all right. We'll just wash it off. Let's bring some of that peanut butter. Yeah, you can also lick the peanut butter if you want. <laughs> all right, for time purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and try to hurry this along. So. Oh, that was yummy. Can you open up the bag of bird seed? And it don't help you. All right, see how I've got it all the way around. It smells good. It does smell good. Peanut butter smells good. All right, so oh, the bird seed. <laughs> so then you can stick the bird seed like in a bowl or a bag, whatever you want to do, and then put it in there, and then just. Like roll it around my autobahn. Roll it around and give it a shake. Oh my gosh. It's okay. Here we go. And can you go over there and press the stop when I tell you? Yeah. There we have our homemade bird, bird feeder. Alright, well I hope that you enjoyed the story and I hope that you can make a little bird feeder for yourself and I hope everybody's having a great day. And we will see you later. Bye.